is up you guys welcome to the first episode of my stream labs tutorials and today's episode we will be covering how to add the webcam and how to resize it to actually fit in the 60 by 9 format we will also be adding a camera overlay lastly we, i will be showing you how to add the stream labels and make them fit nicely within the boxes in the camera overlay itself so i just really wanted to do this little series i always get a lot of people asking me how to set up the camera overlay how to add up at the scenes and the sources and stuff like that so I figured I'd make these little tutorials and um, to kind of show that for the people who um, don't really understand the program yet uh, but let's jump straight into the tutorial what we're going to start off with first is adding the camera so by that we will go and we'll add a new source um, and we will select a video capture device then we'll rename this just to keep it all organized keep it nice and and well all right so most of the time when you add a webcam and it comes up in a 4x3 format as you can see it's kind of squarish so what we'll do because most overlays at least um are 16 by 9 like that's just what looks the best just go into resolutions resolution slash fps type and then you change that to custom and then already there you should be able to see that it changes now this is a very big size so we'll just take it you can even do 1280 by 720 because you're scale, gonna scale it down anyways so it'll just take less cpu you can see the settings here this is just what i have to set to by default you might want to do a color range and just four just to make it look a little bit just to get more color in the picture really so you can play around with that more if you want to either way now we have the camera um set up so we will go ahead and we will add the um, camera overlay so by that we'll add another source and we will select a media source this time now you want to add a media source if your camera is animated if it is a static one or non-animated you will simply add it, add it as an image source and you will have it as a png now with media sources and overlays you got to make sure that it's either a webm file which is the most friendly one because they give smaller file sizes or um you can even use a mov file for example anyways we'll just name this the cam overlay and we will add the source now here you want to go and you're going to browse and you're going to find um your camera overlay i have this one here that i'm going to use for today um which is an overlay i made as well and then you want to make sure that you click the loop box now this is very important because if you don't click it after it's finished the loop, the first cycle, it will just shut off and it will just be a black screen. Make sure that you click the loop box. It's very important. Click done. And now, as you can see, you have the camera overlay. So I recommend locking that layer so you can't move it. So you just click on your webcam and then you can just drag it in and make sure that none of it goes oh, it spills over the side. If, if there's just a little bit that goes over, like let's say we just have a little bit here that goes over, just use the arrow keys. It's the simplest way and you can make microscopic adjustments. And then you lock that as well, lock it. So you won't accidentally move it. You won't end up having any funny looking lines. Um, but now, as you can see, we have the camera. Looks absolutely beautiful. Now, we have these three boxes. We're just gonna be going through one because it's the same for each one. What we do is we add a new source again and we add a stream label. Now, make sure you have stream labels downloaded to your desktop because you might need that. And then we're just gonna name this recent sub now we have the recent sub it comes up here in the top left corner and um, so you can display any like random text you want or if you go into this label type drop down menu and as you can see they have literally everything now what we're going to be looking for is the subscribers and here you have the most recent subscriber and that's the one we are interested in displaying now when it comes to choosing the font i personally recommend something a nice thick font um and also have it be quite spacious now one of my favorites is the sigio ui black I think it looks really nice it's a nice and bold font now we're going to move this just a little bit to the side and we're going to drag the text down into the box and just try to align it to the left side of it and now we're going to go back into the window we had open and then we're just going to scale it up increase the size as much as possible and um, without it having like going over over the box itself and then we can align this just using the arrow keys making sure that it is all well within the uh the box, the box that's already there made for us. Now, the reason we want to just increase the, the font size instead of just taking the box and dragging it is because if you drag the size of the boxes, it'll just end up looking very pixelated and bad quality. So this way, you can get the text size bigger and without um, a loss in quality. And then you can just click OK, we're done with that one. We have this, it looks kind of boring, it's just text. So we want to add a scroll effect to it. And you see this in a lot of streams. So what you do is you right click on the recent sub and then you click filters you want to go into filter type and you want to select the scroll filter and then we just keep the filter name to scroll now we want to add a horizontal scroll to make it scroll sideways um, and we'll just add a 10 10 10 percent speed or whatever it's called you can see it moves a little bit it's not too drastic like if you increase it too much it just looks insane like keep it nice and slow 10 20 
look good. I like 10, I like a bit slower. Now, the trick to make this look really well is adding a limit to the width here. So now first, it's gonna chop down and it's gonna look mad dodgy. But we're simply just gonna increase this until it's all within the box. So now we just started with 500, we see that's a bit too big. We'll try 450, it's a bit too small. So now we can just work up in like increments. And this is a bit of a tedious process sometimes, 469, perfect. So now we have that and we just wanna lock it. Now you see it's quite bunched up. We can go in and change that. We can either go into the properties and then after it says name, we wanna add, we wanna add just a bunch of, a bunch of spaces. Like we've added up so it doesn't look as bunched up anymore, kind of gives us some room to breathe. But now we're done with the camera relay. Um, but now we're gonna add a new scene because this is, this is a bit of a trick so you won't have to do this setup multiple times. So we've already made one scene, we've called it the camera overlay. Now we want to go in and we want to make a new scene. Let's say we want to do our game capture. So we'll name it the game capture. In here, in the game capture, you want to add either a uh, window capture, uh, window capture, which will just capture any window. You can do a display capture, you can do a game capture, it's really up to you, it's wherever you want to display. And then what we want to do now to add our cam, Without having to go through the whole process again, we'll add a new source and then we'll click on scene. So this allows us to add other scenes that we've already made and just put them in the, the other scenes that we want to use it in. So now it shows us we have the cam overlay. So we want to add the source for that and see, boom, already we have the cam overlay right in there. We don't have to fiddle around with it again. We're set. So now we just want to scale this down. Perfect. That's it. That's all we have to do. And then you can just lock it if you want to keep both things in place so you won't mess around with it. But that is really the whole process of uh, setting up your camera overlay and then adding it to different scenes without making it difficult for yourself. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay hydrated and stay creative. Drink your water boys and girls. Peace. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal.